Any hope the family of Maureen Mengeld had of keeping her memorial in place is lost. That follows a meeting between the family and state DOT officials. Kevin Mengeld had hoped the state would negotiate a resolution that would allow that memorial to stay. He now believes the outcome of that meeting was determined before it even started. News 3's Dave Delosier continues our coverage tonight. Yeah, and that outcome is exactly what the DOT has been saying all along, that the, memor that the memorial to Maureen Mengelt must be removed. Public pressure had been mounting on the DOT since that initial decision was made. Requested, uh, the DOT requested a meeting with Kevin Mengelt, and he hoped that there was room for some compromise. That location means a lot to our family. A memorial marks the place where Maureen Mengelt ran most every day. It also marks the place where she died, the victim of a hit-and-run drunk driver. The community came together this summer to pay for and build this memorial to her. When an anonymous complaint came into the DOT, they ordered the memorial removed. The meeting was called as a chance to discuss options with the DOT. Kevin Mengelt went into that meeting with the DOT leaders, hoping the fate of the memorial could be negotiated. He now believes the outcome of the meeting was predetermined. I don't feel that way. I know that was the case. There was really no negotiation. Um, I think the only give was um, the state DOT would consider delaying the time it would take for the memorial to be moved. Uh, they would like to uh, have this done sooner rather than later uh, before snow flies this uh, winter. Uh, and I think we, we can certainly accomplish that. The city of Sun Prairie is looking at several possible locations for the memorial. Orphan Park in Sun Prairie is one of those. It is where an annual run on Memorial Day in Marine's memory is held. The idea of having it in a location where neighbors and, and family and friends can see it on a regular basis is appealing. It is hoped the memorial can be relocated before the end of October. They also hope the DOT will take another look at their policy to prevent another family from having to go through this. Well, there is a level of frustration. Um, you know, I think that um, the DOT um, has had many different ways of looking at um, different um, different memorials that have been there much longer than this one. And I think that's really where the frustration is. Now late this afternoon, we received a statement from the DOT in response to the story. In it, they say they are committed to working cooperatively with the city and the Mengelt family to move the memorial to a safe location and to protect those who want to visit and prevent any future tragedies from occurring in the right of way. And Eric and Michelle, one final note, an anonymous individual in the community has come forward and offered to pay for the, the, uh, the movement of the, of the memorial. Okay, so much more to be continued with this story. Absolutely. Then. All right, thank you, Dave. Dave you bet.